What up, what up, what up? Positive vibes may be. PVM Talk Show. Welcome. Sunday evening. How y'all living? I go by the name of Jetty A Track. I hope y'all lounging. I hope y'all blessed. I hope y'all been living well. And if grooves and motions and circuitries aren't as the way that we intended them to be, man, I hope that your heart is still within it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all about seasons at the end of the day. So we send our love. But in the meantime, what's going on with y'all? We're going to get right back to what we usually do. <clears throat> send out these invitations. Put up our topic. See if I can throw the topic up right quick. So, shout out to Vaughn Brown. For putting me on to a topic that I ain't, not even a topic, but I guess it's a reality campaign, whatever, that I was completely unaware of. And it's called a red pill, I guess a red pill society. So much love for putting me on to it because um, apparently it's a whole thing that's got the right side and the left side crazy flipping conflict between women and men and and feminists and misogyny war and this shit get deep as a motherfucker, you know. So we gonna get into all that shit, you know what I mean? Let me send these invitations out right quick, you know what I mean? We gonna be joined with, you know, my brother Dash in a little bit. We already got the fam Neat Scotch in the building. What up with you, fam? We already got Von Brown in the building. What's going on? Let's send these things out. You know? And let's do what we gotta do. Guy, what's going on with you? Nah, like I, I like I was trying to find like a safe spot to park and do this because I just came from the gym. Uh huh. And um, now I'm trying to find a spot to sit at real quick. I dig on it. I dig on it. Neat Scotch, what's going on with you, fam? What's good, fam? Hey, shit. Kill him for my Mister Rogers Wu Tang. I think <laughs> my shirt, bro. My shirt. Yeah, you know. You know what I mean. I want to extend my thanks once again to both of you gentlemen for being available for tonight's talk. Cause this one's gonna be one. It's gonna be a fun one. <laughs> Absolutely. But um, while you on the way going, you can preface this kind of with context, um, because I ain't, I'm still the whole right. red pill society thing. Like, what what's going on here with this terminology? <clears throat> All right, red, red pill. Red pill is something I stumbled over in the beginning of quarantine. Right, I started my weight loss journey. Right, I was right. following. I was following. Um, I was watching a YouTube channel, Breaks, Breaks Fitness. Right, he brought out red pill. Like I'm like, what the hell is red pill? I'm like, I, I ain't really care. Right, and I kept seeing on my YouTube feed, but I didn't check it out. Then Kevin Samuels, I got onto him, and he really changed my mindset on a lot of things. So they bring out red pill, and I was like, "All right, what is red pill shit?" In a nutshell, red pill are men who are men that um, it's fucking police. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's, it's men. See if they gonna follow me or not. All right, they good. They good. We gonna get me. I don't think. Like red, men, red pill. Red pill is basically a society of men that understands female nature. Blue pill. Oh, uh, they did. They, they describe themselves as alpha males. I don't okay. think that after like after really observing everything, I don't think that's necessarily true. Right. All right. Blue pill are are basically simps and um, beta males. Okay. So they say every man starts off as as blue pill because we're we're told at young ages that women are sugar spice and everything nice. So. In my opinion, right, I'm changing my, I'm changing it right now. I don't think red pill is necessarily knowing females' nature. That's it. I think it's knowing human nature. 
Right. You can be a, you can be a simp with dudes, too. Because there's a whole mm. lot of dudes that let niggas get over on them, just like That's females. A, it's like, they trying to say they alpha males. You can't be an alpha male and dudes get over on you. So. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what? I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish, but we got to revisit that. We got to revisit that. I'm going to let you cook, though. All uh, right. But yeah, like it's like red pill is basically a man that knows female nature. I think is I'm changing it to I'm changing it to like a person that knows human nature. Right. I dig on that. I, and I and I'm more along the line of that breakdown right there. All the way, it really resonates with me. But the reason why I want to get back to that to that one point where you're like, yo, an alpha male. If you were alpha. Another alpha isn't going, or somebody ain't going to get the best of you or get over on you. I ain't going to hold you. Shout out to my brother, Nee Scott. Put me on to dope ass show on Netflix called The Queen's Gambit. <laughs> and for real, for real, this shit is so fascinating in strategy and in movement that. That don't matter for nothing as far as like advantages and whatnot to the the alpha. Whoever the alpha is, alpha win, lose, or draw, because it's a grand scale of things that are. Yo, what are these niggas doing? Huh? This nigga like niggas in Jersey know how to fucking drive, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> now see, that's a perfect tip right there. So what if, what if this alpha? mentality was contingent upon something as arbitrary as somebody looking and saying, oh, you couldn't focus on the conversation and multitask at the same time with shit that's going on while you driving, but you still be engaged in the conversation. Would that be fair? No, no, I'm paying attention in the fact that this nigga going to, I'm pulling <laughs> over the clerk. This nigga that's what I would say. No, no, no. You can't judge me like that. <laughs> Sorry, on. It's one of my favorite people, Pretty Rude, is on here. I like I like when she's here because she give a good female perspective. But she's she's what she she's a self proclaimed alpha female. Oh. So yeah. and now I'm not saying cause, um, in the red pill community it says no such thing as alpha female. So we're like there's hold, there's on, hold 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 on. Pretty Rude, if you would like to join us. Because Dad said that he's gonna be ready in five minutes. So pretty rude. If you got five minutes in which you like to join us and give us your thoughts on alpha female in relation to this conversation right now, we would love to have you. Going over. Yo, 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 yo. If she get, if she gets on the screen, don't look directly into her eyes, right? <laughs> she got that like she got that Erica Badu shit, yo. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> She got the Erica Badu chance to like temptress. <laughs> that's look, look, I told you, I told to her that's the one who know what she doing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No, nah, but like in the in the red pill where there's no such thing as alpha female, where I think alpha female became a thing after the woman uh, feminist movement. But it's like mm. it, it, there are women getting busy and get shit done. So the thing is, the question in the – see, my whole thing in the red pill, I, I, I had an epiphany, right? I started following these red pill pages, and I'm like, these niggas love – some of these niggas like fucking losers, cuz. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I'm like – and I started thinking to myself, really? It's a, like, it's a dude named Mike Rasheed, right? It's a, it's a dude named Mike Rasheed. He's a bodybuilder, boxer. And he's, uh, he, he, I really fuck with him, but right? he said like this. He took the words out of my mouth. He's like, he didn't realize that too. A lot of these niggas is, a lot of these niggas is crybabies. And he's like, no, bro. I had to realize I'm not one of these niggas, bro. Like, it's like one of those, I have, I'm not a complete, to be an alpha male, you gotta be a complete dickhead and asshole. Right? You gotta be, <laughs> no, 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 I'm being real. I'm being real. To be an alpha man, you gotta be a complete asshole because you only can think about yourself and your goals. So, okay. so that's what an alpha male is. Like, no, I, by any means necessary, I'm gonna get this shit done. That's what really an alpha male is. So, is that really somebody you want to be? You gotta ask yourself that. So it's almost like it's a thing where, like, I care about people. 
I'm not willing to do whatever it takes, bro. Like, if it's against my morals, I'm not getting that shit done. I respect it. So it's like I had to look at them like, damn, like, Mike Rasheed was like, yo, these dudes over here trying to manip- manipulate women, and I'm over here like, I'm not saying manipulation is bad, but it's not necessarily good either. But it's like, yo, bro, as opposed to manipulating manipulating women, right, how about you How about you work on yourself to the point where, like, if you put like this, I, I look at this, it's always funny tricking me, this dude named Myron, Myron from uh, Fresh and Fish. He got into it with Asian dog, Asian dog. Right, right. And it's like, and I was like, yo, this don't seem cool, bro. You over here, like, really on some crowd baby shit. It's not manly, cuz. And I was over here like, yo, I'm over following this nigga. I'm like, yo, this nigga's a... I look at this nigga and I'm like, yo, I'm going to smack the shit out of this nigga. Like, oh, like, like, I, like, like, I, I, like, it's nothing like you trying to say you're an alpha male. I'm like, no, I will smack the shit out of you, cuz. And you ain't going to do shit. But, but look, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Check, check me out, check me out. Check. And Dash is ready to check you, but check me out. I'm glad that you got to that point because I want to share with you, gentlemen, right? I actually shared this with you, Scott, but... I was on the great ground, right? Because I just came to Philly. I was just visiting. You know what I mean? And I headed back up this way. You know what I'm saying? So I get a seat. Back the bus. I get to the bus right on time. Dash, what's going on with you? What's up, family? How y'all living? We living food. We no, chilling. Good. So... Yeah. I get on the bus. I get straight to the bus right on time, first of all. Like, if I decided to go before I got to the bus, because I had to pee kind of, I'd have missed the bus. So I was like, yo, I got back of the bus. If I need to fuck it, you know what I'm mean? saying? I got alcohol on me, and I'll go take a half of that bath and shit. I get back to my wash. Whatever I got to do. So I'm sitting there, and I look around. We connect eyes just it looked you're like breaking he was talking up. You're breaking up a little bit, yeah. My bad. I said there was this dude sitting kind of behind me, and I was just looking around, and the eyes connected just on some random shit, you know? They said, somebody said we got to turn the volume down. Hey, Ron Brown, if you're connected through the car, you might have to... Yeah, I just, I just turned my car off. Word up. Much love. Much love. So... I looked at and we connected eyes. I just kept on doing what I'm doing because I had my shit in. I was in my zone. Like 20 minutes down the ride, he gets up, walks across the aisle for whatever reason. His book bag hit me in my back of my head and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, my God. And y'all know I can project. I'm a fucking, I'm a fucking performance artist. You know what I'm saying? He kept on going. So I stood up. The fuck you mean? Like, but at that moment, I had to catch myself. Like, I'm on my way back home. I just visited my lady. This dickhead, I don't know what the fuck his problem is, but at this point, only way now is go. Because I'm already up. If I Man, leave right. out and I go and I talk to you about this, I want something now. Whether it's an apology, whether it's your attention, whatever, I want it and I'm going to take it. And I was like, I don't know how that energy is going to look right now because the minute I stood up, everybody's eyes in the back seats were looking at me. They were like, oh, <laughs> shit. It looked like they was ready to get their phones out right there. there. I was just like, you know what? Happened? <laughs> I had to breathe. You know I what? I had happened? to breathe. You know what that so, was? Huh? You know what that was? What's up? Every young boy, if you got a son, have him watch Animal Planet. Animal Planet. Is a gorilla seen another gorilla, and he wanted to test that gorilla for whatever reason. Uh-huh. That's what that was. It's like <laughs> an animal primal instinct, yo. He looked at you and wanted to test you to see what you'll do. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> as dumb as it might be, yo. As dumb as hey. it's fucking Because we're logical. We're higher beings than Well, we think we're higher beings than gorillas. But we still have primal instincts. That nigga wanted to test you. I mean, he did. He did. He he succeeded to a degree. He got my attention later, and we actually talked and shit. You know what I mean? He was just like, yo, why you keep looking at me? And I was like, dog, you hit me in the back of my head. He said, why ain't you say nothing? I said, you did. 
I said I stood up. I had to calm myself down, and that's when he kind of got humble and shit. He was just like, oh, "All right, man, it ain't about that." I'm like, "Yo, it's all love, you know what I mean?" Yeah, it's, it's, but it went in such a way. I'm gonna I'm say this is how fly it was. It went in such a way that the person I was sitting next to, he kind of like calmed me down and shit. So when we got to our destination in New York, I gave him dab, and he was just like, "Don't you worry about it. He a fucking asshole anyway." He said this shit out loud as shit. <laughs> so it was like it was a, it was a yeah. good moment, you know what I mean? <laughs> I had, I had a situation like happened in my old neighborhood, right? I'm walking down the street, and um, I had to actually ask my peoples about this and how I handled it, right? So it's this old dope boy on the block. Like, he's been on the block since I was a kid. So I'm older now. Like, he, like my dad had his, had his section, and they had their section. So it's like, whatever. So they all know me. So what he's he doing a little steering match out of nowhere. I'm like, okay, what's his problem? He don't got no issues. So it's like he gave me like a little like one of those and walk off. Like looking at me like I'm like, all right, all right, I don't get it. <laughs> like so I kept it moving. The next time he seen me, I'm with I'm with my cousin, which is his um nephew. And I'm like, and um he gave me the whole he shake my, my cousin hand and he looked at me like and then turn around. I'm like part like part of my back, like he didn't say part of my back, but he gave me back. I'm like, I'm like. And my cousin, like, you know, you know what that is, right? Like, yeah, I know what that is. Shook my hand. I'm like, what was all that for then? And I smiled at him like this. And just like, you know what I'm saying? I like, uh, and I get, I walked off. And I asked my man, I'm like, how do I handle it, man? Like, he's a loser. <laughs> it's like, you, you don't handle it. <laughs> he like, no, at the end of the day, do you live there? I'm like, nah. All right, it's not that serious. He said, like, what did you do? He said, he said the gorilla thing is two gorillas seen each other. And one to see who's the biggest, baddest gorilla. He said, dog, you're going around there with muscles now. <laughs> he like, it's a different situation. There's girls around there that get attention. And he wants to insert his dominance around there still. The thing, he's a loser because he's doing it in his 40s. Like, you know what I mean? So, uh, like, one of those things where I realized what I did was right because he's in the streets. I'm not. Uh, he wanted me to stoop to his level. So, what right. you have is you got to understand something. You got to pick your battles and understand he wanted you to react and you didn't. You won. All right. Because me being me, I already won. <laughs> like, my nigga, you a loser. <laughs> I'm like, so I'm like, yo, dude, I don't want none of these little hood rat bitches you be fucking with, nigga. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, like, bro, it's like people try to assert, assert their dominance somehow. Like, men are going to be men. Like, honestly, I hate to say it like this. Women not going to fully understand this shit. Some things is man shit. And it's like we get approached with some dumb ass shit on a daily basis sometimes. If you want to be outside, understand certain things are going to happen. If you want a certain kind of girl that look good, understand you're going to get tested, nigga. Like, you're yeah. bad. Yeah. And you That's a with your bad chick. Oh, yeah, you're going to get tested. I want to... I wanna... I want to touch back a little bit to something that you said a little earlier where you was like, yo, to be an alpha male, you got to be like a dick and shit like that, right? So I ain't going to hold you. I kind of understand. I kind of I kind of dig where you coming from with that. I can't necessarily ride the entire train ride with you right there. I, I, I but I'm with you. Know. You feel me? It's, it's so, some truth to that, though. Huh? Some, I said some truth to what he said, though, with that. Word, word. So what I'm saying is this... Um, with that, all right, so for me and my lady, for example, right, there's a reality in which it, it plays itself with her and I and I will walk where I am now and where we're going to be, like, several months later. Like, you know what I mean? There's a reality involving traveling, involving businesses, involving, you know, family and things of that nature or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? And these these fruits are going to come into the manifestations in which, you know, it's time for them shits to come across. But in doing so, there's such a, there's such a commitment, such a dedication and a conviction in taking care of her and her and me while we're on this path that it's going to be certain things that I ain't got time and space for. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight up. So anything outside the circle, what I'm basically trying to say is, like, there's a circle in which love is still prevalent and it's still used to um, in a vehicle in, in which to enrich in something. You know what I mean? Because you still got to have love at the core of you. You know what I mean? But as far as things and people that used to once, you know, be a part of the cipher, you know, Nipsey said it best. 
circle got smaller. Everybody can't go. True. Like, our alpha male trait is, like, you got to pick your circle, too. Like, if everybody now on the same path as you, like, you can't have people dragging you back, bro. If you're not, if my people not progressing, you got to cut them off. Like, 48 laws of power. Stay away from people mm -hmm. that got bad luck. It's like, just like, you got to pick your energy is a real thing because you got to remove yourself from the people. But, like, mm -hmm. I'm going to say what you were saying. Well, like this, my man was like, yeah, what's the alpha male? Like, who's the alpha male? Mufasa or Scar? And I was over here like, damn, that's a good question. Well, I mean, both were. Technically, right? Yeah. But, like, that's I right. basically. Not necessarily. Uh, college, like, certain things that you do to prove that you're an alpha. Like, I don't think it's a certain level of, like, I'm um, this personality trait, so I'm an alpha because I act like this. No, I'm an alpha because of certain things I do as a man. Like, how I act as an individual, you know, that just further, like, illuminates what you think an alpha may be, but exactly. like, it's not who I am as a person. Like, it's what mm -hmm. I do. No, look, I think every, I think, I think Scar is a more of an alpha male, but I'd rather be Mufasa, my nigga, because Mufasa made sure everybody was good. And that's more alpha in the If you want to really know what alpha male is for real, look at that. Ball. Foster, bro. He made sure every, he's good and everybody around him good. To me, that's. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm with Pretty Rude. Pretty Rude says Scar wasn't the alpha. I'm trying to understand what you mean by Scar being the alpha. But like, he's necessary. He got alpha tendencies. He got alpha oh, tendencies. He alpha. But that, so that makes him an alpha. But like, then again, I'm, I'm, that I'm nigga was jealous. That builds up the drink. <laughs> yeah, they're from two different tribes, though. Yeah, they're, they're, there's an alpha in both, in both. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. and that's why, I'm right? Saying. So you're allowed to have two. Mm. It doesn't have to be one. Mm. <laughs> and I like this is when I realized I don't want to be an alpha male, bro. I want to be the best man I can be. I don't want to put no tag on it. I want to be able to get my money, work out, and make like my body feel good. Mm. I want my lady to be good. Fact. I like look, I, I want my kids to be good. Mm -hmm. if I have kids. And I to my purpose, bro. Like all that. I want to know how I, I want to be in myself at all times. It's like certain shit, all that alpha male shit. Like I was on that shit, like all that red pill shit is what I needed at the time. Right. I, I want to be a real man. I want to be a man's man. So it's like that all that alpha and beta shit, fuck all that. I'm gonna hold the door. My lady, that's a fact. Mm -hmm. I mean, but, alpha, but I'm with you on that. But pretty rude said an alpha wouldn't be bothered with harming someone else. They are hyper focused on themselves, and yeah. alpha is respected amongst his peoples. I agree with yeah. that. But Scar, Scar was focused on himself. That's why he killed Mufasa. Taking Mufasa out was a part of elevation. There, as... I cried on that thing. <laughs> but yeah, that's the difference. <laughs> All right, so here's what, all right, so, you know, <laughs> psychology, right? There's this weird-ass breakdown that I've really become adjusted to, like, as far as, like, something that I admire. And it's, like, negative reinforcement, positive reinforcement, negative punishment, positive punishment, right? Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a compass. The way that I look at it, it's kind of like a compass. It makes this shit, like, three-dimensional and shit. So it's like, yes, Scar Alpha. We can, we can characterize them as that, sure. And one and Mufasa is an alpha. However, one has proven themselves to be a more accomplished alpha, and one can be characterized as a failed alpha or an unrealized alpha. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, it is all about hyper focusing on self, but it's like, well, what you doing with hyper focusing on self? Like when all that shit comes to you, what is it all about? What is it all for for real for real? This the kingdom was suffering when Scar got the kingdom. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It was fruits and dancing. Exactly. These fucking animals that can't talk was singing in the motherfucking jungle. <laughs> they didn't even talk about bad. They were singing in the motherfucking side. Where the fuck they was, man? Savannah, where the fuck? I know they was in Africa. So they were singing the motherfucking ancestral songs like a motherfucker. But yeah. guess what? Like, niggas like Scar was necessary because Mufasa wasn't the king. Simba was the real... The, Simba was the... Like, he was he was the he was the guy. But he had to... He had... Scar had to do what he had to do for Simba to become great. If that makes sense. No, no, that makes absolute sense. I feel you. If that I, makes sense. Like, it's, it's weird. Like, I think it's... Like, 
that was a great movie because he had to go, he had to leave and come back, and he had to he had to become a man. Like he was on basically he was being coddled by his dad. Yeah. And he was like he got manipulated by Scar and he came back like nah nigga, I'm back. It's my shit. And mm-hmm. like, you gotta put like it's almost like he had to become a man on his own, like and guess what happened? What what what's what's the um what's what's the girl the girl lion name? Nala. Nala came like fuck you been that nigga. You see that that was that inspirational woman. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> man, <laughs> <laughs> when, you got, when you got an inspirational <laughs> woman, nigga, you can move mountains, nigga. <laughs> uh, yo, I look, I told, I told all you gentlemen on that, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, you better go get it, nigga. Oh, <laughs> uh, my God, man. Like, yo, when you get a good woman, nigga, <laughs> like, yo, you're like, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> nigga, what? Yo, listen, word, yo, shout out to women. Let's keep Girl, things all the way funky. This red pill shit, for real, for real, it's a great conversational point. It's a great topic for the homies to get down on. But I ain't waving no flag but the family flags. You heard me? You know what I'm saying? All this other shit, fuck shit as far as I'm concerned. Women are fucking great. I came here through a woman, and women don't put me on the illest and flyest of lessons and gems that made me into a sharp motherfucker. You, so know, like, you know what I mean? Yo, look, I, know, I know more alpha women than I do, like men. For sure. You know why? More alpha women. That you know great. why? Beautiful power. You know why? Because of people raising their girls like they should really be raising their boys. Mm. A lot of people raising their girls like they should, like, yeah, you don't need no man. You don't get as great to get your money. You don't need no that that's bullshit, yo. Know? Cause at the end of the day, they like I know a lot of people are not gonna like what I'm about to say. Okay. This one ain't gonna go left for me. Uh, people are pissed. Uh, in an uncomfortable situation that's going to crash and burn when they turn 40. <laughs> because in the- <laughs> women are more comfortable being nurturers. We bring structure mm-hmm. and we bring on the back. Like, it's almost like, yo, some women don't know how to make a letter man be a man. Yo, like, yo, like, why, like, why, like, like it's almost like, well, you should be more masculine. I'm like, no, you should be more feminine. They're like, goddamn, like, it's like, yo, when I, it's like, it's crazy because it's not their fault necessarily. Because I, I said to my homegirl earlier, I'm like, look, you're not going to change women. They're not changing. That's a fact. So it's like for me, I'm like, why even try? Why don't I just become better? Mm-hmm. I'd rather listen to women, right, and understand what it is to become a better man. Because a see, honestly, whatever they want is that pity me a nigga. Because they're not looking for no regular niggas. That's a fact. Yeah. So it's like, yo, listen to what these women want. Because they don't give a fuck about what we want. <laughs> but they'll get How's your bank account? But, but. <laughs> How's your but, bank account? That's it. <laughs> but they'll, 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 they'll naturally give you what you want, the better a nigga is. <laughs> so mm. Understand, they want to do that's over six feet tall. If you're not over six feet tall, you don't have to be. Work out, nigga. <laughs> Let me say something. To that. Let me say something to that, Vaughn. So. For a while, I used to trip because you know there's this there's this mainstream thought that has a, a a sense of real a sense of reality and science within it that God's a woman, right? Mm-hmm. Now I have my own. That don't you make know, sense. God is a woman, right? That don't make sense. So no, no, check me out, check me out. Let's walk with it. Let's walk with it because there's there's credence there. You know what I mean? Now where I come from, where on my walk, it's like, yo, if there's a duality of man, which is man and woman, then God must be both in my sense. But God must be above all that because there's a certain sense that God has to be omnipotent. So it has to be within as without in order for God to be God in, in my walk, you know what I mean, in my understanding. So I used to trip before I even got to that point. I used to trip and be like, all right, so what are, what's important about a man? You know what I mean? If women, they give birth to life. There's so much that's tied in with women in life. Like, what the fuck do we do? And it came to me one time. And I realized the man is meant to suffer. Yeah. The man is meant to hold the suffering so that, as you said, women are nurturers. The man is meant to hold the suffering so that the nurturer can hold down the fort and hold down civilization yeah. and hold down the growth of the family, of the family tree. Because the woman helps to, to keep the inner child together. She's the nurturer. She helps to keep the inner child intact. You know what I mean? The man puts on this motherfucker armor and go outside and do whatever's necessary to make sure that that's smooth, like that can sustain itself. You know what I mean? 
we have to we being a man, a real man is a me and my man were talking about it yesterday other day. Like being a man is a, is a tough job, bro. It's a, mm -hmm. it's the toughest job in the world, bro. And a lot of dudes running from their job because they don't know how to do it. They have no representation. Right. Oh, hell, it's, 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 that's a bigger conversation of how we got here. But it's like, I'm learning right now, bro. I'm 36 years old and I'm just learning this shit. And it's like, yo, it's like, literally, I'm like, I was not, I was like, I don't know how my parents had kids in, in their 20s, bro. It's like, yo, I'm right now, I feel like, it, it, it's amazing to me. So, right. so it's like, with me, with that being said, it's like, it, it, it's, it's it's a struggle. Like, uh, what can we say? Like, stress is be, be held by shoulders, not hit. Something like that. Mm. It's like, it is like, literally, it's our job, bro. It's like, you ever, women need direction. But they're not willing to take directions from everybody. Anybody. Mm. It, it's like, mm -hmm. it's not, I want to say, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, some people are going to be disrespected, right? Mm. Women are looking to see, look at you like they're dad. Mm. You got you to gotta hold that fort down. That's why back in the day, they couldn't leave their household until they, they got married. And then they go to another household. One from right. that was dangerous as fuck for a woman by herself back in the day. So, like, if you're not willing to actually hold that shit down, and you don't, if you're not level headed, like you're not level, you gotta be level. You gotta, you gotta know how to control your emotion, which a lot of us don't, because a lot of us were raised by our mom and about um, and men. Some of them like were men that didn't really know how to be fathers. So like this, mm -hmm. I'm learning to be level headed, and not be react out of emotion. You yeah, gotta right. that deep breath and like think, because emotion, yeah. emotion coming in, logic goes out the window. Mm -hmm. That's why women are way more emotional. Well, not as much as they used to be, but like uh, women, women are not good. Like they need leadership because they're emotional. You gotta, but men are so emotional now; they're not good leaders. You mm -hmm. gotta back and think. Like that dude that's willing to like, jump out the window all the time. He's not the. He's not an alpha male. An alpha male is like, nah, that's not a good idea. What are we gonna mm -hmm. do with this? Mm -hmm. Even in the heat of the moment, like Styles P, he's a. Um, Sit around the table planning, plug the fan in, let the sweat dry off, and then grab the can. I have to think before I act. Because if you act before you think, you're going to land yourself in life in prison, bro. Yo, listen. So it's talk like, about you got to use logic, logic over emotion, bro. And that's really a problem because men don't know how to do that. You got to teach it. You got to really, it's a dude, it's a dude with a gray beard right now. He's teaching this shit to little young boys. And it's like, it's real. That emotion shit, you got to, as a man, you got to know how to keep your composure and crying, crying in your solitude. A man got to learn how to cry, bro. Just yeah. don't let, just don't let these, you, you can't show emotion to the streets and you can't show emotion to your lady. Go in that room and let that shit out. Yeah, you got to show emotion to your lady. Well, you no, 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 no. Like, you got to stay strong for your lady, bro. Like, show, if you're gonna show, if you're gonna show your emotion to somebody, show emotion to your, to your mom. Like, I know your mom passed, Jeff, or to your damn therapist, bro. You gotta learn how to communicate. But like, look, you gotta stay. Like, it's it's, it's a big responsibility to be a man, bro. I'm still learning. Do not show your. I'm I'm just, gonna, why? Why you feel like that, Von? Why you feel like you shouldn't show right, that? Right. Hold on, hold on. Before before you slide, Von, let me let me answer that just a little bit. Let me put a little garnishing on. And I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you have it because this is your question. But to that degree, um, I feel like there's spaces, right? I feel like there's spaces. So, you know, a woman like if my if my woman wants to see that side of me, or it's required for that side to be open for her to feel what type of intimacy that she needs to feel from me at that moment, so that we could be close. I'm gonna get that to her. You know what I mean? But my natural disposition isn't even to like to put that out on the forefront because there's just so much that is like veiled you know what i'm saying like i usually cry by myself and that's just what it is that's not a cry for help or that's a pity talk or whatnot but when i'm around people i have a yeah i have an energy when i'm around people that tears be the last on the mind you know what i mean i'm i'm inspiring to something that we should be building or that we could get more intimate or what we could connect more with i'm very active in and intentional in my connections in that sense you know what i mean it, it, i took I, is basically what i did was i didn't know how to i didn't know how to project that emotion bro it was years i held 
my mom said it. All my girls said it. Like, I'm like, yo, I could tell something's wrong, but you won't let it out. And I was like this. I was like, and one day, I like, I, when I, before, when I was about to move to Virginia for a year, I let it all out in front of my girl, and she just held me. Yeah. She, she like, they like, she like, she like, Devon, like, I always see something wrong, but you just never uh, expressed it. They mm -hmm. want, but women are manipulators. They don't want to do that shit. <laughs> like, what it is? <laughs> they like that. But you're like this. Do not listen. <laughs> she don't want to know that shit. <laughs> no, no, no. I will say this. Thank you for saying that. I'll say this, right? My mom, God rest her soul, beautiful. Oh, beautiful in and out. I'm blessed to be able to have a woman like that show me what love is for 33 years before she transitioned. But my mom used to do something that I didn't like. And it took me a while to get used to it and get it, right? So when I was young, I was mad sensitive, right? And I would confide sometimes certain things with her. And she would be cool with it, right? And then we might get, like, live, like, maybe a few months later or whatever, or a few weeks later. I might trip up and do something because I'm a young boy. I'm stubborn, hard-headed. You know what I'm saying? I just want to have fun and shit. So I'm going to lie some dumb shit, right? And my mom would throw that shit back at me that I could find. Her. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, mom. They do it every time. They do it every time. Forever. <laughs> oh, you want to act up now? You bitch ass nigga was crying last week. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't do it. They'll use it against you. No, no, no. Look, here's the flash it. Here's the flash it. And this is what I've learned. This is what I've learned. And this is why. This is why I love women, bro, for real. Women are fucking master polishers. They know how to, to polish the edges. You know what I mean? They give that back to you because it's supposed to test you. It's supposed to be, all right, you giving me this something about you that you don't like or something about you that you're suffering with. Okay, let me fix this fucking key up for you and give it back to you and see if you can solve this. So, you know what I mean? Solve this puzzle. Yeah. Because the more that you get accustomed to it, the more it's going to be one more thing that the world can't fuck with you about. No, they they you know what I'm saying? women women keep men sharp. So it's like if you if, if you got a hood chick, hood chicks like hood niggas because hood niggas is always getting tested on the street. So they really more prepared for this dump. Like they not hood niggas are to handle women. Like the ones what they I hate to say it like this, like women gonna get mad at me again. You gotta train your girl. <laughs> so if she a hood chick and you not on that type time. Cut your losses, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, them hood niggas, they know how to handle every kind of nigga. That's why hood niggas be getting all these bitches. Like, it's just what it is. Like, yo, they know how to keep, they know the test because know why? They getting tested constantly on the street and they don't care, if, they don't even care about that girl. The less you care, the better off. But women keep you sharp because women have these subconscious tests to see if you're a bitch ass nigga or not. Mm. They see if you're going to fold. They want to, they're gonna do stuff like to see if you're gonna fold. So, like this, like tell me, like um, like she like, why are you looking at me? Like, eh, like look, man, I, like like you gotta respond a certain way. You're not be like, oh, cause you're beautiful. Like, no, nah, don't wear that shit. Like, cause you're like you got a buggy in those bitch. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, Dash, what do you feel about that at that juncture, <laughs> right at the end of that tail, right at the end of that train buggy? How do you, what do you feel about that? How does that yeah. resonate with you? We're pretty rude, they are. Because I ain't gonna hold you. Like, what, what Kevin Sam was saying like this, he said, like, even me, he like, yo, you can think you're an alpha male that you want. It, you run into the right woman, you're gonna be a beta male sipping hard. <laughs> like, and nobody's, nobody's above the sip. See, see, hold on. See, this is my thing. See, hold on. You know what? We That's got to time in it, though. Because like, it is that one woman for every man that get the best of you, right? right? Everybody got that girl. Uh, how do you Bro, know like, cause we we're one woman that leads you down that path, but make you colder. Like, no, like she's the one who taught you the game, and because of her, you'd be like, all right, you know what? I ain't fucking up like that the next time. Like, I already know. Like, it's called your red pill moment. So, like this, what happened was there's a dude named Lead Attorney. He's part of the uh, he part of the Manosphere, right? Mm. His pill moment was this. I a long story short, it was a chick that basically tried to throw a baby on him. That wasn't his. That was his red pill moment. Another dude accused, um, accused, like accused this dude of rape that he didn't like. He didn't do nothing to her. 
Uh. That was his red pill moment. Like a lot of dudes get this stuff in high school. I got mine in college, but I still didn't. I know I got mine in high school a couple times, really. <laughs> like I was sipping for a long time. <laughs> I had sip phases too, so I feel you. So like, it like, because I was taught that I look at women like it was up here, bro. Like I love women. I like I, I want to cater to women. That's just my natural thing. But I realized I started the most recently. I look at women like people. You got to understand why women the way they are. In their biology, women are looking for the strongest buck. Like, the biggest, strongest buck that they can count on. To, like, it, like, it's biological, bro. I want the tall, strong, muscular, V-shaped man that I know can handle his business. So it's almost like a dude with money can, can say that. Like, that's why like, they, like, they like athletes. They can't help what they into because that that represents the body type of the 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 alpha male. Like they don't want no little skinny ass nigga. with well, some of these hood Jones be messing with these skinny ass niggas. <laughs> but but it'll see, oh, see, man, we got look once again. There's a cross. There's a cross point in which we we looking at attraction versus you know uh, certain certain skills and certain. Things that make you valuable in either a societal template or just in an, a tool base or tool mentality template. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, if you got muscles, it's expected that should connect with strength, right? That's just one plus one. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, attraction is what it is. Attraction is one thing. Now, those two worlds can coexist, yes, but attraction is one thing. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be that, you know, because a woman looks for somebody that's slimmer than her, you know what I mean? It means anything. If that woman was built for the jungle and that nigga wasn't, it's just an exchange of the feminine and the masculine energies, you know what I'm saying? So she might not need another motherfucking gorilla to be around with her, with her gorilla ass or whatnot. She might just be geared to be that type of person. And it just makes sense for this dude who ain't got it like that. To link up with her, you know what I mean? It's balance. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's like, no, like, I, I was using, um, they, they used to like, women as people. I looked at, like, women like they were goddesses. <laughs> he just said, look at women like people, God forbid. <laughs> no, like, I looked at women, and, like, from a, I looked at women like they were goddesses, my nigga. <laughs> and hold on. I was and pretty rude, and pretty rude part of me said that, that is what men look for and think. Don't project your preferences onto us. Let's talk about that a little bit. Thank you for saying that, Pretty Rule. I mean, they, they oh. every rule. Yeah, I, that's true. That's it's true. A, it's a generalization. It is a generalization, but there's also a certain level of a responsibility to it. But also, we live in a chaotic time and shit. So my right. lady sent me this this article that connects to why you know this red table society potentially could be damaging to not just the movements and the intersectionalities and all that, but actually... The thing was pretty rude. I like, I like what she said. I'm sorry to cut you off. What's but, up? But see, we are portals and y'all are... Like, she's so deep. I dig it. <laughs> I, like, I like that. Thank you, pretty rude. That's real shit. Well, but I had to point that out. Like, continue. I'm high. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know where you're going, but I, I, but I do like where she took it down a lot. <laughs> No, 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 no. But, like, all in all, to still connect it, it's basically saying that, you know what I mean, like, as far as, as far as self, you know, and how Alpha is, Alpha is, I hate that shit, it's, it's cringy, it's cringy. First of all, let me just get to it, like, when I, when I think of it, it's fucked to me, because it used to, it used to do something to me back in the day when I had, like, self-doubts and whatnot, but all that shit really is, is a motherfucker who handled their business and know what it, it, what it come down to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know that at the end of the day, I'm more equipped to run into the building to make sure that, you know what I'm saying, my girl good than my girl going into that fucking building if the building on fire. It just makes more sense for me to go ahead and do that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's just me standing in it. I'm not going – I don't want a flag or a trophy because of it. That's just what I know it's I need to do. Man, it's man shit. Grow and grows. That's exactly right, man right. shit. You know I mean? It's certain man yeah. shit you got to do as a man, certain women shit. Like, women do some shit better than us. Yeah, absolutely. Hey. Better than them. It's like we we assist each other. Like, we're the leader and they're to help me. At the end of the day, like, look, at the end of the day, I realize how much women need us. All this, like, you don't need no man bullshit. It's bullshit. We need each other. We need each other. We complete each other. 
And Facts. I thought an alpha male had like a bunch of women, my nigga. I'm be honest with you. Having a bunch of women is fucking unproductive. <laughs> it's mm. like <laughs> unproductive, bro. I ain't get shit done without fucking these girls. Like <laughs> that's a fucking fact. Oh. Like, like this, like yo, I don't got no time in the day. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to be a real estate investor. I, in, I work a job, I work out, and I'm in a relationship. <laughs> it's like, that's a lot of shit, cause a lot of work, yo. Yo, people don't understand that, and that's what I actually wanted to say earlier. Thank you for saying that, Vaughn. But yo, it's the the gravity of what a true relationship is, no matter what the magnitude. But in this case, because we're on it, the, the gravity of quote unquote being the alpha in a relationship in which you really holding it down as such. Yo, it's so real that my grandma said something to me. I called my grandma and I told her about the situation with my with my girl or whatnot that I'm in a relationship. And it's the first time I ever extended that to my grandma. So she was happy because she's been telling me, especially after my mom transition. She's like, yo, you got to find somebody. You got to find somebody. You got to find somebody. You know what I mean? Okay, grandma. Excited. That shit in the universe. Words. She was really excited. And then she told me this. She was like, but take your time. She was in her tongue because she Liberian. She came from the country, so she, she can't speak. Like, you know what I mean? You got to have that air to catch it. But she basically was saying, take your time because in the beginning is the hardest part. And I had to think because, you know, like in America, everybody be like, in the beginning, the honeymoon. In the beginning is the honeymoon. But my grandma's telling me that in the beginning is the hardest because it's the That's easiest process. to fuck up. And I had to think about that. It makes sense because you building a foundation first. You ain't built. You ain't putting sticks and fucking rubble and bricks together on a on a foundation in place and shit. You know what I mean? You building your church on sand. Mm. Yeah, that's deep as shit, though. Cause that's real. Well, appreciate like, that one, man. I just want to point out that I couldn't stand Liberians when I worked at Strayer University. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. These niggas was the worst, bro. <laughs> like, be the worst motherfuckers to work with. Yeah, yeah. These niggas will come. I was working financial aid, right? Straight university. Uh -huh. This nigga, these niggas will come in, ask for help, and then tell me what I need to do. And I'm like, <laughs> like oh, ask me for help. I know what I'm doing. I'm to do this. Like, if, you, if you know what to do, why are you asking me, my nigga? Like, then you come in here smell like fish. <laughs> these niggas smell like fish every day, cuz. And I realized oh, somebody told me like the younger ones didn't smell like that. But it's like, I tell you like this. I tell you like this. I had a mama that loved me, so I smelled good. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> These are old. Two, two. I'm Liberian. I tell you, I feel you on that because like a lot of Liberians ain't shit. So I'm like I'm Liberian saying that a lot of Liberians ain't shit. So I feel where you coming from. Like I do. No, this nigga name was this nigga name was J Blow Slow. <laughs> like this nigga head was the size of a basketball, cuz. And he was uh, there, come in there and tell me like you're like like Devon, I need you to fix my financial aid. <laughs> like uh, I need you I'm not sleep in this conversation, nigga. We're not talking about nobody named Joe Blow Schmo. <laughs> I, I don't your believe your name, yo. I refuse to believe it. Kia said <laughs> having too many will have your head spinning. She is in agreement with Vaughn. I'm in agreement. You kill much love. Listen, it's a such thing. I said this to somebody because, like, you know, this this whole entire push for like, yo, I want to have pleasure. Pleasure is my everything. Oh, pleasure is God. You'll never feel sad. A man would never feel satisfied smashing a bunch of Jones. You know why? Women don't fulfill men. Purpose fulfills men. Purpose so too. the thing about what men is, if you smash a hundred girls in one year. All you're going to think about is the ones that you didn't smash or what curved you. Because it's not, women are not satisfying. Women, a man that lives for women is not a man. Not at all. Women come with the, bro, you chase your purpose, you chase this money. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure women follow that. Why? Because you're on your shit. And it, it's like literally where it's like this. The less you pay attention to them and they realize you're on your shit, like, oh, this nigga doing what he needs to do. It's attractive. It I mean, is attractive, but. It is attractive, but you gotta be careful with one thing because you just said a key. Like if you if you about your money, a woman gonna be paying attention. But you also swimming in the part of the ocean where you dealing with fish with teeth now. 
But guess it, what? It, like what? if you happen to if you happen to pull some if you happen to pull a woman who wants to fuck with you just because you do money and you got that money knowledge and that money whatever, don't be mad because if that's what your purpose is, you know what I mean. You gotta have multi layers to your purpose, and you gotta have something that 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 drives a woman to want to walk with you in the long terms. Like if this shit is spiritual, this shit emotional, this shit is like all tied, all ends. If you just are getting money, nigga. Please believe a woman will use you for just money. Not to oh, say yeah. that man hey, can't love. Not to say that man can't find love. But shit is going. You better have your motherfucking three D no man. Like that's why you. That's why you gotta be in your purpose, bro. Because as a person that's been stepping, like I went from. I realized I, I. I translate this right. I used to be the, the a dog in my twenties, right? In my thirty, I tried to be the nice guy. I thought I was doing something wrong. So it's like I started being nice guy. I realized I started getting played. I'm like, oh, we're taking out on dates. And I'm like, I'm gonna really get like dates, dates, dates. Like, yo, I ain't getting no pussy. Like, this is confusing. And I'm like, I realized, turn to the nice guy, and I'm over thinking I'm being a gentleman. Like, no, I'm being finessed by these women. So what? I, what you realize is, you put your foot down, and once you start respecting yourself, and you start working out, and you get on your shit, and it's like you realize, like, I'm not tolerating. Like, you gotta vet your women better. Some women ain't shit. Not all women. But you attract what you are. The more you're on your shit, the more better women will come your way. And you'll start spotting stuff. Mm. But you got to really get out there and get trial and error. Because you, like, I realize the more masculine I become, the more feminine the women I attract. Mm. You attract what you are. So mm. if you're a sucker, you're going to get fucking finessers. I dig on that. I dig on that. Back to, like, look, build yourself up. Because what happens is women are not going to change. You can't, you can't, you can't expect women to better themselves. A lot of women get preached to the like you good the way you are. Like a lot of work, they need therapy, bro. Women, are, women go through a lot, especially good looking women. Yeah, they do. Good looking women, good looking women go through a lot. Mm. They got a lot of baggage. With them. So it's like at the end of the day, like you understand something. You guys know what you signed up for. You gotta find like you gotta stop thinking to think with your head. Because it's like a lot of these women's good women out here. That's my spot them. What I would do is actually I pick the toxic woman as opposed to the good one. I didn't know what a good woman was. I picked the toxic one and I realized I look back like, yo, I fucked that up. I'm going for the because me, I wasn't ready. I went for the toxicity because I thought that was normal. So mm. I play myself and take that L like I did that to myself. Now I know what I'm looking for. So it's like, yo, it's, it's all about growth, man. Like, fellas, you got to work on yourself, yo. Because the more you work on yourself, the better your outcome. The more money, and the more money you make, the more cooperation you'll get. <laughs> Hold on, Bob. I'm glad. I feel you. I'm on that. But I do want to swing it to, I do want to swing it to Nice Scotch, and I do want to swing it to Dash, because we got a few comments in here that I want to see their, or their opinion and perspective on and bring in their, their, you know, their harmony into regards to the symphony that we creating. So Kia said, don't completely ignore us, but do what you got to do in terms of a relationship with a woman and how to, you know, just to hold yourself in such a way that we're talking about. Dash, how does that resonate with you? Do you feel like that balance is achievable? How does that resonate with you right there, that comment? It is achievable. You got to. You got to, you got to find that balance somewhere. Like, no woman wants a man that's so on his purpose that he don't have no time for them. Like, where they just there, where they're never there. Like, they want you on your purpose to provide for them. Want to enjoy that lifestyle. Like, a woman, she want her man to be that nigga. She want her man... You want to walk around and like bitch you want him and he's got the money and the influence to take her and provide her the life that he and dreamed of like but she also dreamed of him being there and being an active participant in that life like she didn't envision having all the nice shit and my man is always at work she wants you to be there too so you do got to prioritize that and like as you as you kind of on your purpose and you find your mate like they understand what's required and they understand that of like, you know what, it's, it's, it's a certain amount of time he has to be a way to achieve this, you know, and they'll be workable with you. Like, they're not going to make the job difficult. Like, that's part of finding the right woman. She'll understand what you need. Like, the right woman, she'll know what you need before you even know what you need and put you in positions. Like, mm. No, nah, I dig on that. I dig on that. And I fuck that for you off, man. Hold on, hold on, Vine. Hold on, Vine. Hold on. Because I want to swing it. <laughs> 
Scotch. I want to bring Meat Scotch up in this conversation as well. So Matthew Nolan said, toxicity is a good distraction to honest connection. Meat Scotch, how does that resonate with you, that comment right there? First off, Matt, is, that's my boy from back in the day. Word up. Um, <laughs> oh, you know, and, you know, I mean, to me, toxic is never good in any relationship. Like, if you're working from that, the distraction of that, you're not dealing with your relationship. So you know, you're automatically fit. <laughs> what you want to do is, is be honest, find the toxicity and wipe it out. In my opinion, clean that shit up. Like what's what's the thing that's toxic to whoever? Right? Whether it's you or her. Right? Then you clean that. You know, you clean that up. And the things that you have to do on your own that are for you, you have to do. You can't just wait around for somebody. Right? You you, you can't you can't allow somebody to dictate your time. Right? You have to you have to make time for them. And then do what you need to do, right? And if those things may be toxic to them, you do them without them, <laughs> you know. And you make sure you keep that away. From them. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's a, it's a tough question. No, I dig. Right. It. I like the answer. I ain't gonna hold you because you know, at the end of the day, I understand where Matt's coming from with that. I can't hold you because Me too. you need some adversity to like to test. To test what needs to be strengthened, if you will. Adversity is a better word, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like toxicity, I don't want. <laughs> I mean, but listen, here's the thing though, and that's the that, that's corruption. You, you um, need time up to that. We can't yeah. control what we get. You know what I mean? Like sometimes we might get adversity and sometimes we might get toxicity. We can't control what we get, but the only thing that we can control is how we re respond to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Right, right. Yeah, you know. Of course, of course. I, the way I feel, though, is that anytime I'm, I'm with something toxic, I'm letting that go. I'm leaving that alone. Like, you got to go. Like, you got to get out of here. Right. I mean, I have friends that I, I love to death. I realize our personalities together were toxic. Mm. And they're, they're without women. Right? Like, just, I know I can't. I can't. Even though I, I respect I know that you rocking, you doing your thing. And when we do our thing together and we're trying to make moves, can't happen. Right. We have to be separate people. Right. I, I, I'll rock better with this other person, right? Like, I, let me let me work over here. I can't work with you, though. You know what I mean? Like, so certain things, you know, this is this is toxic for you. This is right. Uh, adversity makes me strong. I love adversity. Mm -hmm. Send me that all day. <laughs> you know that that that's what I love. That. <laughs> what did I dig on it? Pretty rude said a good partner teaches things both ways. Real shit. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean that's required, you know. Like that's that's, that's the whole idea of chef. Like is to learn from each other and grow with each other. Like, like as a man, you like that's why we need each other because there's certain things that a woman does better than man and can provide that a man can't provide. Like it's certain things that she's going to be able to do for me that I won't be able to do for myself. So yeah, I'm going to take care of her in ways that she can't take care of herself. She's going to take care of me in ways. I can't take care of myself, and we're going to make this work. Like, that's going to make us grow. It's going to make me love her. That's what's making me want to go out and love her because she takes care of me in ways that I can't take care of myself. That's what makes me get on my shit and be like, yo, you know what? When the money low, I want to get more money to take care of her, to floss her, because she take care of me so well. I That's all I want to do in return is for that gratitude, you know? That's a super fucking fact, yo. Begging me being the being the agitation of my world, you 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 bring so much frustration on my life. Like I don't want to do that shit for you. I don't want to you know, all I want to do is get out here and be fucking these hoes because <laughs> <laughs> for real, like that's the mindset. Like if you if you're going home to negative energy all the time, like when you're yeah, home man. all that uh, nagging you know, on like yo, like look. Can... And it's not nagging, like, I'm, I'm not talking about the natural nagging, like, when your, your woman would naturally nag on you to be a better person. I'm talking about, like, nagging, like, where it's nonstop argument for no reason, like, where it's, like, it's clearly an agitation, like, like she's mm -hmm. unsatisfied, but instead of voicing that unsatisfaction with you, like, she, it's just creating more of a toxic lifestyle at the house, like, where you just, like, you're going home to hell every day. You already been dealing with it in the world. Now you're going home to it to sleep in it. Like it's just like, where do you find your peace? Nice. Right, right. Like I need. I've been in that. Like I need like <laughs> like that. You gotta take that like five to like five to fifteen minutes outside in your car before you walk in the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't work though. Don't work. 
Because sometimes that don't work. You just in the car and you breathing heavily, and you still gotta walk up in that motherfucker. And then you gonna get set right off again. Now I'm back at the car, breathing heavily again. Now I'm smoking. I'm just like, yo, could I go to jail tonight? You know, like if I. <laughs> One phone call. <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, that's not e that's not smooth whatsoever, and I understand because I'm all right, right. So, yeah, and I, I'm I'm kind of right where you with you niggas over here acting crazy. Yeah, these guys are kind of with you because it's like, yo, it's a fine line, right? It's a fine line. It's a fine line between something that's building you to strengthen you, and then something that's there to drain you. Or something that's there that has either an intention to destroy you or a non intentional place where it still happens to be fucking bad anyway. What happens, like, like you know what I mean? Like, for example, a wounded vampire, right? Will you, would you, would, like, if you, if you was just walking down the street midnight, da 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 da, trying to go home and shit. Hey, you seen a wounded bad? She's a bad, badass wounded ass vampire. Broke her arm and everything. She's on the ground like this. Ah. And she look good and she's giving you the eyes and all. You gonna go there and help her out? She a fucking vampire. You gonna help her out? She bites you in the neck, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what she is. <laughs> but think about it, like, you know, like, when a man has sex with another, like, when, when, when a man steps on his lady and has sex with her, it doesn't mean it's cheating, really. Oh, like, man. I, I All right, you gotta talk. You gotta talk about this. <laughs> that one a minute. <laughs> That's cheating to me, my man. Like, right, right, right. <laughs> like, it's only cheating if you're tricking on the girl you fucking. Like, sex. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bob <laughs> Brown, the comedian. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there, like. <laughs> Yo, hold on, hold on. So, check this out. Pretty rude as, would you want your woman to do it? No, like, it, mm. no, women cheating, like, women having sex outside of a relationship is an abomination, okay? Look, it's different. It's different. Because women are more. Like <laughs> <laughs> can't say that and just say that. <laughs> I'm like, leaving the room. Like, <laughs> I ain't even getting involved in that shit. Yo, women fuck like everything they really like. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta ask yourself if you, if you don't want your mate doing that same thing to you. That's clearly cheating. Like whatever you want your mate to do to you, don't do. Like, look, women are more emotional. So they get you more. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta dial that hell by yourself, my nigga. I love you. I love you. I got the monocular. I'll be like, yo, that's my nigga. That's my nigga. He was a good one. He just took a couple wrong paths, man. Don't judge him. Don't judge him. You allow, you allow to live your life, man. Go ahead. Just keep me happy. The thing is, ladies, the thing is, ladies, all men right? But a real man respects you enough not to get caught, okay? <laughs> Thank you. R.I.P. R.I.P. with this gift club. Yo, y'all win that. Scott, Vaughn, thank y'all for coming today. Wait, y'all got All right. to go first, though. We do, we do <laughs> for the end of the show. All right, so my last word i'm gonna go first on this instance because we would love to have these guys to close out with the word of this one because you know what i mean i appreciate y'all we appreciate y'all but you know what i mean just for a little balance and you know everybody's perspective and everybody's harmony once again symphony that we creating in this motherfucker i'm gonna go first and i'm gonna say that my last word is a hey, women ain't shit and men ain't shit right this whole shit is about self-knowledge, actualizing yourself in such a way that you walk into the right one that actualizes herself. And yes, I said actualizes. I don't give a fuck. But when the both of y'all actualizes, y'all can move mountains, as my man fucking Ron said. It's a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? All this alpha nonsense, we're going to get 
facts. I don't go fuck about that shit. As long as I can move mountains, y'all niggas can have alpha. That's word on anything. <laughs> Yeah. And women, women with natural hair and glasses, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it is something about a woman with glasses that is something. Like, I don't know what it is about natural, natural hair and glasses, cause like it just oh my god. <laughs> women with glasses, you know, that's a different. When you level. got a big old fro or some locks or something like that. Oh my god, it's something about that. Is this a black woman? God damn. And that's you look at. Oh no, like, no, no. You ever look at it just like at black women? Like god damn, look at you. Like just like. Like I, like, I I dated a white woman one time, right? No disrespect to nobody, right? It just look, he's it he, just that nigga pandering. That nigga pandering. No, 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 I mean, real. <laughs> you know what it is? I did. I do what I do. What I thought. You know what I thought? You know what I thought? It was like I was dating a white woman. Like, like I kind of like cheese in my grits. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we gonna do. <laughs> it's, it's cheese on the grits, man. It's just cheese on the grits. <laughs> on grits. Yeah. On grits. Yeah, so before we close out, me Scotch, please. One thing that was that pointed itself out to you in this conversation. One thing that was inspirational in this conversation. Whatever that you would like to leave as your final point before we close out, brother. I realize I don't know no alpha males. <laughs> Ooh, that nigga set the phone, set the world on fire. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night, people. Thank y'all for joining us. Much love to Von Brown. Much love to Neat Scotch. Much love for once again for Von Brown for inspiring this conversation. Thank y'all for joining. We gonna be back here Wednesday, 7 p.m. PVM talk show online. We love y'all. We out.